All right, our first question asks us to find the value of x. So x is the measure of this angle out here. So what we're looking for then is the difference between the two chords, or the two um, arcs that this angle describes. So we have a 72 degree arc and a 22 degree arc. So we take 72 minus 22, and that gives us 50 degrees as our difference. Then we divide that difference by two, and we get 25 degrees. So that 25 degree measure then represents the, major, the degree measure of the angle that creates those two arcs. So pretty straightforward. Example B, very similar. Looking for angle X. And we have two different arcs. We have a 120 degree arc out here. And we have a 32 degree arc in here. So we take 120 minus 32 and that gives us 88, 88, yeah, 88. So 88 degrees, so we divide that by two, and that gives us x, which would be 44 degrees. So this angle measure in here, 44 degrees, yeah? And then finally, example C. Example C has just one more step that the other two didn't have, and that's because we don't actually know the degree measure of this arc in here and we need the two arcs that are described by our angle in order to find out what the angle is, right? So we know that this one from this point here around over here, that's 141 degrees, and then from that same point back around to the top up here is 187 degrees, but we don't know this short little span in here. However, we can find that because 141 and 187, and let's just call this little this little uh, arc in here, y, and y, all those things together add up to be 360 degrees, all the way around the circle, right? So we have 360 degrees is the same thing as 141 degrees plus 187 degrees plus y degrees, right? So that gives us 200, 320, 328 degrees. So we have 360 is equal to 328 plus y. So we just subtract 328 from both sides. And we get oops, 328. And we get uh, 32. 32 degrees equals y. So that gives us this little section in here, 32 degrees. So then we just need to find the difference between 32 and 41. So we say 141 minus 32. Well, if this was 142, the difference would be 10, or 110, so this is 109, right? So we have 109, divide that by 2, and that gives us 54 and a half. So x then is 54.5 degrees. No problem.